Let's create a custom tool shelf. Having shelves allows you to set up a tab right here up above for most commonly used functions inside Maya. So we do have by default we have some polygon tool shelves that we can use but oftentimes this is not enough or is just not what we need. So we can set up our custom one by going up to on the left hand side here click down on this arrow and go under shelf editor. Here we can create new shelves, we can edit shelves, uh, we can rename shelves, we can delete shelves and, uh, and so on. So we can create a new shelf from this menu from the shelf editor by clicking on the new shelf or we can also use the new shelf icon right here. So let's do that now, create new shelf let's name it, I'm gonna name mine Game Environment MOD. I'm gonna keep it short so we can see it up here up above and I click OK and see it we have here up on top. If you don't see it you can often use this arrow to scroll to the right to see it at the end. So let's go back to the shelf editor and let's take our game environment model in here and let's just click on this move up icon and let's move it up to the first. I'm also going to rename it to modeling. And then we can save all shelves and now we have our game environment modeling shelf right up on top. Here we can start adding our most used functions that we will be using inside to model our environments. We can also delete some of these shelves that we do not use. So let's go back up to shelf editor and we can simply select what we want to delete and select the shelf and just simply delete. Now let's go through some of the most commonly used functions and let's add them to our custom shelf. So first make sure that you are on the polygons. If you are under any other menu this contact sensitive menu on top will change. Uh, we need polygons so we have our mesh and edit mesh. So let's go under mesh and let's start adding some of these items to our shelf. To add any of these drop down menu functions to your custom shelf just simply hold on control and shift and as you hold on control shift go any of these menus and just select the function that you want to add. So let's add create polygon tool and by clicking we can see that it showed up here. Next let's add sculpt geometry tool. Under edit mesh let's add extrude and all I'm doing is I'm still holding down control and shift. I'm going to add append to polygon tool, cut faces tool, split polygon tool, insert edge loop tool, Merge Vertex tool, Merge Edge tool, and this should be good for now. We can also continue adding as we are working. So these are the most common functions that I can think of right now, uh, but I'm sure we will be coming back and adding a lot more. Also, you may want to add under Create Polygon Primitives such as Sphere, Cube, some of the more ba basic shapes. So let's add Sphere, let's add Cube, and a cylinder and also plane. We can reposition them as to where they appear in the sequence on our tool shelf. To do so we can middle mouse click over an icon and just drag it to the beginning. And we can move any of these items just so. Middle mouse click, hold and move. And we can rearrange and reposition these anywhere we want. So some of the more commonly used ones we want in the beginning and some of the not so commonly used ones we can drag to the end. Another thing is if we want to delete any of these items, let's say we went to mesh and we added something that we didn't want. Let's say uh, we went to and we added separate. So now that we have this icon, we no longer want this. We can simply delete this by middle mouse click and just drag it over into this trash can on the side and then we'll get rid of it. You can also modify how this looks as well with more precise control by going under shelf editor, selecting game environment modeling and we can simply select these, we can rename them, uh, we can apply icon labels and we can rename what they look like, what they appear as and how they are viewed here. So in the shelf editor you have a little bit more control on defining your custom shelf. So having your own custom shelf inside Maya increases your efficiency and speeds up your workflow. You can also have another one for texturing and UV and you can add as many shelves as you want. Uh, keeping them simple, you can always go up here and you can modify it and you can change based on your needs inside for modeling and texturing environments. 
one thing to note about your custom shelf is your items will retain the options that you've set for them before you put them on your shelf. So for example, if we went to edit and under extrude we went to the option menu and we set some of these settings to what we want and then we placed this extrude into our custom shelf, it will retain these settings that we have in the options box. So a lot of times when you place an item and then you begin using your custom shelf and it doesn't act how you want it, it most likely is because you set the options for it. Now you have a couple of options. You can delete by dragging to the trash can and re-adding the custom shelf item onto your shelf with the proper options. Or you can just simply double click on any of these items and select and set the options that you want for that object. 